Welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream, Life Peoples, recorded for Ustream.tv and also for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. I'm colouring in the Joanna Basford Joanna's Christmas festive colour book and I've had a bit of a play with some colours um, and I'm now drawing the Christmas tree and I'm using my Dr Martin's PH Hydras which are extremely vivid and I'm using them almost neat so I've got a green and I've made a teal and then I'm using the purple and because I've been using my rotary pen I had a very poor attempt at drawing a third little little robin so my idea would be to draw some baubles and then use some very very bright colours um, so I've got the same colours as in this particular book. So I'm going to put some bright oranges and reds and yellows and teals and blues to go with these vibrant colours here. Um, and that's why I bought the book. I was playing with these in the Animorphia uh, colour book and then I thought I've got to um, I've got to go buy the, the book I'm just going to move that over there because the corners are going to tip into there. Uh, so I'm just a damp brush and I'm just activating a tiny bit of uh, the purple, which is cobalt, per cobalt violet. So there's a dried drop in there, so, but I've got a damp brush. Uh, because it's too dark in places so I wanted to lighten it up a little bit so um, I'm probably going to start at the top and work down so she that was that little bit too dark but never mind if I do this one the same darkness oh dear dear and I've uh, messed up that and there and always turn the page if you can. It's difficult for me for the angle because you don't go over your lines as much if you do that. I'm hoping that these little white drops are going to look like little lights when I've finished. Uh, so I really wanted some very vivid colours in this uh, in this book, so I'm using the hydras almost um, neat because they're extremely vivid and of course this festive book really does kind of lend itself to this, I'm just going to move that across a little bit So I've had a bit of a play to draw and my rotary isograph pen is the same width as this um, colour book line drawing. So I'm going to draw some baubles and then I can colour them in. Um, so that's going to be... Uh, It's going to be quite nice. And I think this purple will goes really nice with this teal. And I've made the teal colour with phthalo blue and phthalo green so I guess you would call it my thalo turquoise if they can call this thalo purple <laughs> I'm going to call this thalo so it's all thalos at the moment but it won't be soon it's going to have lots of other colours um, just have 
to work with a, a damp brush though. It just lets the colours just flow that little bit better. Although I'm not really using a rigger now, I'm using just an ordinary brush. This one is actually a rigger but I've used the round brush. You've got a bit more control because it's a bit too bendy this one. I just happen to quite like, like them but you've done a practice page or a practice front page here. I've done some practices. Um, this was one or two. You can see that it's not quite um, level, so if you just tighten this one up here, just want that tiny bit darker. And there's a couple here, and I think that's it. Then I think that's going to look quite quite uniform because I'm a bit of a, a symmetrical person when it comes to trees. If there's a red bauble on one side, I want a red bauble on the other. Uh, a bit fanatical about my trees. Yeah, I think the phthalos are fakes, which is why I said I didn't like them. Because if you're doing a traditional uh, green scene, a landscape, um, it's, it's what I call, I call it a fake green. Um, but of course, if you're doing something that's um, a colour book and you want a vibrant colour, it's beautiful. They are, they are wonderful, but I, I, I say that they are fake. Having said that, I mean that there isn't a fake, there isn't probably a leaf you could find. But, you know, that's probably untrue. In nature, there are some awesome colours out there. So you should never say never. So if I just do that one, and again that brush has got that little bit, little bit uh, if your brush gets too dry, it drags and then it it will We'll go over. Um, do I want anything in the middle? No, I think I like that one. I've done everything that's got the dot in it, which I quite like. Um, I think that's fairly uniform. Oh, there's probably that could probably be phthalo as well, couldn't it? With a purple middle, yes. So we put a purple middle in here. Oh, maybe purple in here, maybe. Um, no, I'm going to leave that because I want that different. I'm just going to put this away because otherwise I'm going to be crossing the page with a damp brush, which I don't want to do. Um, so let that dry for a minute. So I've been using my isograph. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of... I thought I could dangle some baubles from down here. Yes, if it's a fake pigment, yeah. Although I think these days a lot of fake. So let me have a look. If we have a curl, if we have a curl here, I want Playing here, having some baubles to see the size of the baubles. Um, the shape of the baubles. So we can look on the front for this. So we can have some little... Now they're going to be probably a bit big. So 
And then we want some round ones and we want some So we need a little ring in that or we want a little so that looks slightly better sorry this is on you i was messing about um so we want a circle and it wants a little top on it and it wants a ring on it and we want um a star with a ring on it play and then we want a little turn it which we want a little ring on it and a pull what we could do with a pair with a little pull on it so they're really tiny those Okay, Suzanne, thanks for stopping in for a bit. So, we go back to here and we see how small these are. And so, we want... Run. Do it that way, a bauble. And, um, we could have a bit better. Oops. That one is here. different shapes that I've got and um, we could have away <laughs> you could get carried away so we could have a little one here and we could have another pear shaped there this could get a bit addictive I think um, probably a little star there I shouldn't probably do it completely symmetrical, but and we could have.
quite enjoying this. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this. I hope I'm not wrecking it, but anyway, here we go. Just thought there should be some baubles on here. So on this one we've got I'm saying my drawing skills are a bit poof. And let me have a look. Oh, we've got some baubles here, look. See, we've got some baubles here that we could have a bit of a play with. Maybe a little bit too small for swirlies, but um, so I'll just keep that handy so I can have a look. Maybe a large one there. Getting a bit carried away now. <laughs> Filling all the little colours in. I think we've possibly got enough to be going on with.
some more near the top. covered in quite a few little bumbles. So I shall colour some in now and put my little pen away. And this has got Indian ink, permanent ink in it. So it's... Um, yes, and I was using a wetter brush. Yeah, a damp brush. Because the hydras were drying out quite quickly. Um, so I'm going to have to use quite a fine little brush now because these are quite small spaces. Oops. And so we want the star at the top to be quite, to be quite bright. So I think. Yes, I'm using these um, in a normal, tradition, what I call traditional way. Just solid colour. No highlights. I'm only using a small fine brush because it happens to be the one I picked up. Because I want to do the little baubles. And I think that's going to be the best. So a nice bright yellow. And this is the yellow that I made, the cad yellow that I made. Oh, I might tell lies, just bear with me. Yes, I made that with uh, gamboge and lemon hansi yellow. Because I didn't have... Um, A cad yellow, but a cad what yellow? So I, I would think that's a cad yellow. Looking at it, I would think that's a cad yellow. Um, so now I can use these gorgeous pinks that I made, and fill out some of these pretty colours. I'm going to use a little round brush. I think I might just get away with it. It's just a damp brush and then um, I quite like uh, this colour which is a homemade, that could be an orange colour that I made. Make sure it's all dry and just touch a little bit of colour in. Just a little bit. If it's too dry, it sticks and then you make a mess of your. Uh... A nice colour this. Let me just pick out my two. Make sure I've got enough of these colours. And if you can see, if 
I just come I've got to, uh, Vibranty red, so of course, this one could be red. And I do want them quite vibrant. I don't want any pale colours on here. I need a vivid colour. Vivid solid colour now for this. So there's a fair amount of red in here now. Let me just do this one red as well, I think. brush is not holding itself together very well. This has got a nicer point. So we could do with um We've had a yellow, we've got an orange. Oh, we haven't had the bright yellow, have we? Oops, the little man is having a turn around. To think about where you would put them normally on a tree. This one, so this is quite a nice pink. Very vibrant Christmassy pink. And this pen that I've used is Rotaring Indian ink and it's permanent so you know, I'm just going straight over this with here and it's not going to move. So I've got some quite vibrant pink colour now.
think that's looking okay actually. I'm not impressed with the shape of the barbels. They're a bit of a, a mishmash, but it's hand drawn, so it's oh dear. Oh dear, Suzanne. There's nothing worse, is there, than not finding what you want. So I've got a purple, but I've I think I might like this blue. If I use it pale enough, I might like this one. I'm looking for little ones that I've missed. Um, I think I might just go for an orange. Or I should say a ready red maybe. Didn't really want that one next to that one but we don't have a choice. I think they're all coloured in now, those little those little baubles that I did. And I think I'll just do um <clears throat> our little tree. So I do need probably this to do now. Um, so I need a bucket colour. So what colour is a bucket colour? Um, I could do it reds. If I was in Christmas, uh, Christmas things, I could do. I could do pink and red. Decisions, decisions. I just can't decide. can't decide on a colour. And this I do is that just greens and purples. I think I might just do that greens and purples. I hope it hasn't been too boring. So I've had a bit of play with these colours. Um, I think I'm going to put maybe blue in there just to give that a little bit different thing. I think that phthalo blue is quite nice. Uh, phthalo green is quite nice for a fake, uh, a fake tree. So again, I'm going to colour all this in green, and then I'm going to use phthalo blue because I haven't used phthalo blue before. Oh, only a couple of times there, and it was not my mistake. So it's going to be a little bit neater. I 
just at the wrong angle with this. This is a nice brush to use. This is just a normal round brush. Oops, but it's damp. So it's going to keep a real nice natural flow. And then I'm going to I think this could be, uh... oh no it's not, it is the red blue. It took a little bit of that cobalt blue, but I put cobalt blue at the other side. So again, just a, a tiny drop of water just to keep it flowing. Because that's going to be quite nice when that blue shows through. We haven't got this blue anywhere else. So I've quite enjoyed myself with this colour, and I've been brave enough to draw some baubles. And quite like the variation of colour just on that bottom bit there. Oh dear. I think I've had mine in for two years. <laughs> in my mouth so oops, that's what the colours look like and I'll pan out so I, I quite like the colours actually I must admit I like those colours uh, they're Christmassy they're vibrant um, and so I'm enjoying using my my colours the baubles have a lot to be desired but they're okay, they're okay, some little pops of colour in there and my very very poor attempt at a little birdie but uh, there's a little bit of colour in there and it's almost dry so I can start another colour page <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my video and did a little bit of drawing on there so I was a bit braver which is what it's all about is changing things if you're not happy with them um, so I'll stop that video there and then I'll just go make a, co a quick coffee and see what whingy pants is whinging about in the other room and then I might start another page on here and see how I go so thanks for watching <laughs>